magazines or searching through the photos, stumbling across something. It, I don't see, I don't see a face and think, I know what that's going to look like with a painting. The first thing I see is a glimpse of emotion or a face that sort of triggers something inside me. It's hard to say because I can be flicking through and I just something will just hit me. And I don't know what it's going to look like until I put the pen onto the canvas or the paper and I start drawing. What happened was I, I was driving around in LA uh, listening to Welcome Interstate Manager in my car and then uh, a couple hours later I was reading a Hollywood dream. It's good for me to work in a way where I don't know what's going to happen. Putting down layers of paint and then dousing a cloth in turbs and wiping it back and not knowing what I'm going to find underneath because that, that's what makes my work, you know, the layers and the wiping back. I enjoy the, the sort of experimental aspect of it. I enjoy the accidental side of it. I enjoy not knowing what it's going to look like. I mean, I have some people say, look at my work and they go, oh, that's really disturbing or, you know, that freaks me out. Or, you know, you must have like strange things going on in your head if you're producing stuff like that. It's, I don't go out to produce that at all, you know. All I want, I want the viewer to be able to look at it and see what I saw in that original image, you know, see a glimpse of what I saw portrayed in a different way, you know, in a different medium. I try and use the materials to just capture that one little thing. You know.